So in today's video, I'm going to show you and I'm going to give you a special package, a prompt pack that will create with the use of Midjourney's AI logos, just like the ones that you're seeing right now, a barbershop, a motorcycle logo, whatever you need, this prompt will create that for you. Now, let me show you a couple more examples. So, so you can see what, what we could do. So for example, we could create a couple of dog veterinary logos. So something with a dog, uh, this could be great for a design company. This one could be great for, um, I don't know, for something scary for, a uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. This could be great for real estate, for some kind of a handyman plumbing business. This could be good for any kind of majestic logo. Again, motorcycles, dogs, dancing, coffee shops, and cats, and bodybuilding gyms, and uh, yeah, again, barber shops, and so on. So, as you can see, this gives you a lot of versatility and it will create logos in this style. Now it's very simple. All you got to do, all you got to do is to change one word. So I'm going to give you this prompt. So this is the special prompt. Don't worry. I'm going to give you the download link and all you got to do is just change this word here and the AI of mid journey will create all these cool examples as you can see here now let's open up mid journey so first off if you haven't done so go ahead and download this package it's completely free you can download it from bluefx.net and i'm gonna open up mid journey and i will show you around and show you what this can do so first step is to just copy this special prompt next we're gonna open up our discord and this is where this is where mid journey lives and i'm going to just click back forward slash imagine so this is how you get an image this is how you make mid journey make an image and i'm going to just copy paste in that special prompt that i just gave you and all you got to do is change the words in the bracket so whatever company you want to make a logo for that's what you're gonna type in so let's say a barbershop just just out of curiosity i want to see what it can do i've i've created a couple of barbershop logos before and now i'm gonna create a couple more so as you can see it's already taking action it's already building the logos for me and we gotta wait a little bit this is the way mid journey works if you haven't used mid journey before don't be afraid it's super easy if you have these prompts which i'm gonna give you for free it's just copy paste and waiting until it makes the logo for you okay so let's wait a little bit a little bit more until this is done as you can see, it's loading. So imagine if you never used mid journey before, what it's doing is it's creating four different logo image versions for us. And once it's done, I can click on the image. It will scale it up a bit and we can take a look. What logo would be the one that works for us? So this one looks really good. All we got to do here is just delete this text and add our own text, but this is already looking really good. This I think is, is also good. It's simple, it's clean. So I'm gonna go with this one. Let's say you like this logo, but you know what? Let's say you don't like this logo. Let's say you, it made four logo variations that you don't like. Well, in that case, you can create four more. All you gotta do is click on this little thingy here it looks kind of like a refresh button and it's gonna make another set of four images for you okay so while that's happening in the background we're gonna take a look at again at the one that we selected it's this one so how can i take just to this image because now it gave me four images how can i take only 
the image that I want. Let me show you. It's really, really simple. At the bottom here, you have these four buttons. U1, U2, U3, and U4. And if you want the this one, the, the, the one from the top right corner, then you need to push U2 because it's like 1, 2, 3, 4. These are the four numbers. So I like this one. I'm going to upscale U2. I'm going to click on it. And in the background now the image is being upscaled. As you can see, bam, we have the full image. Now, at this point, what I can do is I can use it as it is. I can add a bit of text underneath it. And there you go. Here you have your logo. But you can also make a lot of other stuff. And it's like the variations are infinite. You can make as many variations as you want with the effect, with the setting that I showed you. Okay. Now, if you... Let's make another, I'm going to make another one just so you can see how many things it can create. I'm going to take again, let me show you again what we do. And then we're going to add some text and we're going to do the rest of the logo. But this is the, this is the key part. Again, I'm going to click forward slash. You see this forward slash here? That's what you got to enter. That's the only thing that you need to enter manually forward slash and after that it's going to give you these options and and again you're going to select imagine and because with imagine mid journey will imagine a couple of cool images for you now we're going to paste in the magic prompt that i gave you and again you see the text between the brackets that's the one that you want to change i'm going to delete that and now I'm going to add in, let's say we're building a logo for a real estate company. So let's say if this real estate company is specifically building houses. So I'm going to type in house. That simple. I'm going to hit return and wait a couple of seconds until mid journey finishes its imagination. Okay. Now the next part is really up to you depending on what you use now my favorite tool to edit these logos and to edit images quickly is canva okay here we have it now for me this is this is looking really interesting a futuristic looking house maybe they are building these kinds of houses let's go with number four so if i like this house then i can just upscale number four and it, give, it gives me the image in a high upscaled resolution. Now, let's say you want this image. All you got to do is click on this image, then click on open bra on browser, and this will open it in a browser for you. So it on, enlarges the image. We are gonna click again on it, right click on it and save this image and bam. Now you have your very own logo in this specific style. Isn't that awesome? Now, obviously, you might want to add some text. So how can we do that? Let me show you. So I'm going to open up Canva. So I'm going to open up Canva here. And I'm going to just create, create a new design. And let's say, let's say, any any type any size let's say uh, 180 by 180 let's say that's gonna be my size okay and all you got to do now is just add in the logo here now the easiest way that i like to do this is i just right click copy image i go here to canva and click on paste image bam scale it up a bit like this and there you have it. You have the logo there. Now, you can all, now we have here a white background. We can obviously remove the background. I can click on, I'm using the pro version of Canvas. So I have this background remover thing. It removes the background, but you can use any app for removing the background. Good. I can reduce this size a little bit. Uh, like this move it up and I'm going to add some text, click on the text here 
and let's go add a headline uh, house house builders <laughs> that's the name of this company very original so let's choose a different font I'm gonna click on the of course on, I'm gonna select the text click on the font here and I will go with something interesting let's go with this one yeah that that looks good now what I often like to do is is, is, is to select some parts of the text well I think this is already good enough obviously you can play around with the font let's see let's go with Roboto and Roboto the Roboto has a couple of features we can go with a bold so one part of the the logo of the text is normal size and the other one can be bold and I think that looks looks nicer looks looks pretty nice right so we can upscale this a little bit so the text is bigger yeah and there you have it you have your very rear very own uh, logo now all you got to do here is to click on the share button and let me show you you click on download and keep in mind right now we have transparency so the background is transparent I'm gonna click on transparent background I think this is also a pro feature of Canva but we can click on download and it's gonna download the image for us and there you have it you see we have transparency here in the back and there you have some shades and so on so there you have it you have your very own logo all you got to do is to download this special prompt pack and while you're downloading it let me show you something a club the AI creators club that you can join and in it will show you all the cool features all the cool apps everything that is necessary for you to create cool videos and animations using AI now you get video prompts you get image prompts you get work worksheets that will show you exactly how to use these apps which apps are worth using which are not and you'll be also a part of a membership where we help you together with our other members make cool stuff mostly videos but also images graphics and a lot of other things okay so it's really important AI is moving so fast <clears throat> it's it's actually if you think about it AI is moving so fast that most of our competitors after a while they will be using AI and if we are not using AI we will get left behind because if you think about it if a logo can be done in a couple of seconds like this think about what power one of your competitors can have who is using AI and if you're not using it if you're not taking advantage of these formidable tools then it's going to be really hard to compete in the present and the definitely in the future okay so thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're going to make a lot of cool logo animations I'll see you in the next one bye bye